let us discuss continuity of a complex valued function okay so when we say the function is continuous so for real valued function we are already familiar with the definition when we say the function is continuous if that limit z tends to z not f of z exist if f of z not that thing also exists and both of them should be equal so same kind of definition we have here right in complex valued function also so the first thing that limit should exist getting that limit already we have seen in our previous videos that limit should exist that f of zero its value should exist it should have some finite value and both of them should be same then we say the function is continuous at z naught see we have one more definition of continuous function that epsilon delta definition so the same definition which we have which you, we have already seen for a real valued function right so can you tell me for complex valued what we should, uh, should write here so the same definition for given epsilon greater than zero there exists delta greater than zero such that such that mod z minus z naught less than delta implies mod f of z minus f of z naught less than epsilon did you notice the difference between definition of limit and continuity same definition we have just here in case of limit we write zero less than but in case definition of continuity we do not write that thing as well as the second difference is in case of limit we write l or w naught something some fixed number but here we write f of z naught so this is the main difference between them okay then we say the function is continuous let us discuss one example on that make a screenshot of it then we will go further let us discuss this example we have this function having two different definitions for z is not equal to 3 and z is equal to 3 right we have to check whether this function is continuous at 3i or not i will simply follow the definition first of all we will find the value of limit let us do that so consider consider limit z tends to 3i my f of z okay so this is equal to limit z tends to 3i so z is z tends to 3i that means basically z is not equal to 3i so obviously i should follow the first definition so z square plus 9 upon z minus 3i this is equal to limit z tends to 3i if you put z is equal to 3i directly we will have 0 upon 0 form which is not defined getting so we need to use some techniques some formulas of mathematics and we need to cancel the denominator somewhere what can we do here? Yeah, we can do one thing. That means z square minus 9i square we can write. Getting Since you know the value of i square is minus 1, minus, minus, plus we will have. So plus 9 we will have again. Okay, after that what we need to do? You are familiar with one formula a square minus b square. That is a plus b, a minus b. That formula we can use here. So therefore limit z tends to 3i. What can we do? z plus 3i z minus 3i divided by z minus 3i so we are so much happy to cancel this z minus 3i z minus 3i okay the denominator is cancelled now we can ready to put limit so we can put z is equal to 3i so what will happen 3i plus 3i 6i getting so this is the value of limit so the main thing is that limit exists that this is a very important thing we have got getting that limit exists so the first condition is satisfied that limit exists. After that, the second condition, we supposed to find f of 3i, that value should exist. Let us work on it. So now, now, f of 3i, let us find its value. f of 3i, that means basically z is equal to 3i. So that means we need to follow the second definition. So in second definition, z minus 3i is there, we need to put z is equal to 3i since its value is 3i. So 3i minus 3i, its value is 0. So that f of 3i, that also exists. Two conditions are satisfied. Limit exists, f of z0, that is also exists. So the last and very important condition is both of them should be equal. But here, what we are getting here, we are having a value zi, sorry, 6i, and there we are having 0. So that means both of them are not equal. So therefore, third condition is not satisfied. I need to mention here. But limit z tends to 3i f of z is not equal to f of 3i. So the third and very important condition that is not satisfied. So that's why we have to declare 
f is not continuous at z is equal to 3i so therefore f is not continuous at z is equal to 3i in this way we completed this example make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye